Ahoy, mateys, and welcome to Hometown Go. This week, we be on the hunt for treasure. I'll be taking you landlubbers with me on a hunt to the DC Big Flea. So drop your anchors and hold on tight to the poop deck, because we're setting our sails for treasure. Treasure, as far as me good eye can see. Hi, I'm John Greenwood, a goofy artist, entrepreneur, and family man. I quit my job seven years ago to start my own business, and now I sell my artwork every weekend with my best bud, Dave. Whether we're in our hometown or yours, tune in every single weekend to Hometown Go and join us for an adventure. Back at the DC Big Flea. Barely even opened the booth up yet, and Dave has already got himself something fun. What'd you get, Dave? I got an Eames replica chair. Oh, snap. That's fancy business. How do you feel about your purchase, Dave? Extremely happy. I've been looking for one for a long time. Yeah? Extremely happy. Unless someone offers me $400, which then I would be also happy. Flipping yeah. It. Flipping it would be really tight. I think there's a hard flip opportunity. There's a lot of flip opportunity there. We flipped a few things at the show before. Definitely could be a flip opportunity. <laughs> or just a sweet item to take home. Good find. DC Big Play. Treasures. We're driving cars on the Mars tonight. We're blasting off to the stars tonight. We want to go. I've done it also. I bought things. Guy just walked up to the booth, had some old Star Wars posters, and a laser tag game from my childhood that I had growing up that, like, I don't know, memories, super cool. Check this out. Oh, also, Dave got these sweet headphones to go with his chair to complete his high fidelity look. I got all of these posters, and... How you doing, the laser tag kit from my childhood. Super cool. Memories. This one's super tight. Very cool. Sweet deal. Six bucks, everything all together. It's a deal. of you wondering why Tyler is dressed up as Burt Reynolds. In the expo hall next door, they were hosting Fairfax Comic Con. We had hoped to set up in there as well, but they were sold out before we could hop in there. Is that Tyler or really tall Burt Reynolds? You don't know. Who knows? You don't know. Tall Burt Reynolds? Could be. Is that the bandit? Is that the bandit? Out here doing his thing? Yeah. Where's no? the bandit car? Is it outside? Yeah, where's your park at? Where's the T-Bird? Hey, you got a little, little coarse edge going on over here? Bandit car. Yeah. From the goods. <laughs>
we hit every single light on the way up here. That was crazy. All right, day one done. We crushed it. Last time we were at Big Flea, we had our best weekend. Right now we're on track to possibly beat that, which would be really tight. Day two, the DC Big Flea. Let's go. We crushed it again at the Big Flea. We actually ended up making more than we did the last time that we were there. Besides all the cool things we saw and bought, one of my favorite moments was listening to this cool 10-year-old kid named Julian. He told me about his grandmother's booth at the show and how he and his mom started their own booth as well. Julian was selling enamel pins, bags, and beanies. It's a tiny weenie beanie. And his mom was selling shoes and clothes. One of my favorite things to see at events is when younger people take the initiative to get out there and try selling something. It's such a great life experience and I always hope my kids end up doing the same. Three generations of sellers at this show and I had to pick up a few cool pens to help support this kid's hustle. If you ever come across kids selling items, try to buy something. It's always a nice thing to do. Well, we did it. Another day at the DC Big Play. Done. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. I'm not sure exactly where we're at next weekend. I know we'll be in Williamsburg for second Sunday on Sunday, Saturday. Still a little up in the air. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, check all that stuff out. Thanks and bye. Emily. What'd be a pirate's favorite pattern? What? Argyle. And what be a pirate's favorite fast food restaurant? What? Take a guess. Arby's. <laughs> Say. Arby's. Oh, you think that, but it's actually Long John Silver's.